So in today's video, I'm going to be covering Amagogic USB burning tool again. I'm going to be covering a few of the points just to go over it and give you guys the best chance of actually recovering any Amagogic boxes that you might want to recover. Now, I'm pretty much going to be repeating myself, but I want to go over another process that I found actually works better than maybe the first one I did. Now, the first video I did was maybe eight months ago now. So this is kind of a revision of that tutorial. Anyway, let's get on with it. My name's Matthew and you're watching another tutorial by the MXQ Project. Okay, so first things first, let's install USB burning tool. I'm going to be using version 2.0.8. That's the latest version that I'm aware of at the moment. Now once it's installed, all you simply got to do is load it up. Now, I don't think I have to explain how to install it. You know, if you ever use Windows before, I'm sure you know how to install a program. Once you've installed it, load it up. The next thing you need to do is you just need to change it to English. And then all we need to do is we need to go and grab some recording image file. That, those image files are specific to your hardware. That's not something I can help you with, find. But just so you know, it is an image file that you need. You can't use zip files with Amorgic Burning Tool or anything like that. You need image files because they're specific to using this actual tool. So once you've got an image file, what we need to do is we just need to select File and Import Image. Now I'm going to be using a old MXQ KitKat image file just for the purposes of this video. So just this one here. And then we'll just click open. Now it's going to start image checking it, just basically making sure that the that the actual files not corrupt or anything like that. And this will take just a few few seconds. It doesn't take too long, really. Now, if you do have issues with actually loading this using, um, you know, maybe the image file comes with an, comes up with an error or something like that, then maybe try a different version of USB burning tool. Maybe try an older version. And it might work because it might it might simply mean that that image file hasn't been compiled properly for that specific version of the USB burning tool. So you can just try an older version and see if it works, or just restart your computer. You know the usual sort of things we have to do to get these things working. So once that's actually loaded up, all we've got to do now is click start. Now the reason I'm doing this this way round as the previous Amorgic USB Burning Tool tutorial showed you actually having to install the Amorgic device onto the computer first before loading the image file is simply because I find this is the best way to actually make it work there's a lot fewer errors doing it this way and as well as that it's a lot simpler I think you know you're not having to connect the device to the computer first you can just load up the image file click start and then you can go on and then connect your Amorgic device to your computer. So let's switch over now and then let's show you how to connect a Amorgic Android TV box to your computer and then hopefully everything will load up and install perfectly fine. What you'll need is a USB mount and bell 2.0 cable that's capable of data transfer. Now on this MXQ box we've already prepared the KitKat firmware using USB burning tool. All we've got to do now is connect one end of the USB mail to mail cable into your PC and then locate the AV reset button on this MXQ box. However, it might be different for you. You might be using an entirely different Amorgic device. Your reset button might be located underneath or on the side of the box, but usually it's just in a little hole. And what you'll do is you'll just hold in this little reset button using something thin and sharp and then insert the other end of that USB cable. And on screen, you should see if I'd started to install World Cup drivers. Once that's done, it should just start instantly installing that image file we prepared earlier. Certain image files come with replacement license files. It's very simple to do that, just as shown on screen, just find the program x86 and locate the Amorgic folder and in there you'll see the license folder. Just replace it with the provided license file and away you go basically. This will allow you to install that firmware onto your Amorgic device and that's pretty much it. You won't actually 
require this with every single piece of firmware available but it is one of those things that definitely but you do need for certain pieces of firmware especially maybe google firmware like we looked at the s905 just a few weeks ago and that did have a license file that needed replacing for it to be installed on that device one last thing i really want to touch on is the fact that amlogic usb burn until is a bit of a pain in the behind it really is it's one of those programs you really have to persevere with sometimes to get things working say for example an image file just gives you error after error and it doesn't want to load up even on the initial stage then the chances are that using an older version of usb burn until might enable it to work i know a few versions of kitkat image files won't work on the latest version and it's just a bit weird and to be honest with you it's just a really underdeveloped program and again we just have to persevere with it to enable us to actually recover our analogic devices hopefully you came across absolutely no errors at all i can't guarantee that of course this program is an utter pain in my behind and it can come up with all sorts of different errors and yes that's just the way it is i'm afraid hopefully this guide has helped you get your Amlogic Android device working again, or just taught you a little bit about how to recover these devices. Anyway, my name's Matthew, and you've been watching another video by the MXQ Project. Don't forget to check out our website, mxqproject.com, our Twitter, at MXQ Project, as well as our Facebook group. All those links will be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and we shall see you very, very soon.